Right above your head is the sky, what scientists call the atmosphere. It stretches about 20 miles or 32 kilometers above Earth, and it's packed with molecules, tiny bits of air so small that you're breathing in billions of them with every breath. But climb just a little higher and you'll find yourself leaving the atmosphere behind, stepping into the emptiness of space. That's why it's called space, because out there the molecules are few and far between. Now have you ever wondered what would happen if you just kept going? What would you find out there, beyond the blue, past the planets? I think about this all the time. As a scientist, I can explain a lot about what's waiting for us, planets, stars, galaxies, but there are mysteries so big, not even the smartest minds have answers yet. So, let's start close to home. Earth is one of a family of planets orbiting the Sun, along with asteroids and comets spinning in the mix. And the Sun? It's just an average star. It only looks huge and blazing compared to the other stars because it's so much closer to us. But if you wanted to visit the next closest star, you'd have to cross trillions of miles of nothingness. Even if you somehow hitched a ride on NASA's fastest space probe, it would still take thousands of years to get there. Here's a way to picture it. If each star was a house, then a galaxy is a city packed with houses. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, holds about 100 billion stars. Imagine zooming out until those stars blur together, just like city lights do when you're looking down from an airplane. And here's something wild. Recent discoveries show that most of those stars probably have planets too. Some of them might even be like Earth, which means somewhere out there there could be other beings staring up at their skies wondering what's beyond. But galaxies aren't alone. Astronomers have spotted millions more, each one holding billions of stars. To visit even the nearest galaxy you'd have to travel millions of trillions of miles across an ocean of empty space, just a few stray molecules and mysterious things called dark matter. If you could watch the universe for millions of years, you'd see something incredible. All those galaxies moving away from each other, as if the universe itself is stretching and making more space between them. Think of dots on a balloon, blow it up and the dots drift apart. That's what's happening to our universe right now. But here's the big question, does space ever end? If you kept going, would you eventually hit a wall, or does it just go on forever? Most scientists think the universe is infinite, galaxies stretching on in every direction with no end. But some have another idea, maybe the universe wraps around on itself, like the surface of a globe. If you could keep traveling in a straight line, you might eventually end up right back where you started, just from the other side. The truth is, nobody knows for sure. It's unlikely you'd ever reach a barrier or edge where everything suddenly stops. The universe might be infinite, or it might just feel that way because it's so unimaginably vast. And that's what makes the question so fascinating. The limits, or limitlessness, of space is one of science's greatest mysteries, still waiting for future explorers to solve. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're peering into a universe so huge, so mysterious, that even our wildest guesses barely scratch the surface. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be the one to help unlock its secrets.